my name is Anna and uh, today I'm going to be showing you some assistive te uh, technology and some devices that can be used by older, by blind older adults. Uh, this technology is usually uh, used by um, just bl blind individuals in general. Uh, I use this technology all the time and but today I want to I want to show how you can use this technology with um, uh, the blind um, elderly population. Uh, as we know age-related um, eye diseases are very common among um, the elderly and when this happens not only they lose their independence but they're not able to um, perform daily life activities uh, so using this technology can help uh, the blind population and in this case um, the blind older adults to be a to um, maintain their um, independence and just to continue using um, doing a daily life activities. Uh, one of the first things that I, I, I want to show is um, a computer that has a screen reader called Jazz. Um, this is a software that is um, installed into the computer, so anything we do in the computer, computer it'll be um, talking. Um, this is my computer, and I typically don't turn on my monitor because I listen to it, and this is, this is how it sounds. It might sound weird to you, but we just get used to it. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn on the monitor, just maybe uh, you're able to see what's going on. Okay, so the computer, we do not, the blind, we do not use the mouse because we're not able to see and click on whatever we're doing in the computer. We use a, a combination of hotkeys, just for example, we use Control alt T to read what's on my screen, and I can um, um, do that right now. It tells me that I'm on my desktop. It's very difficult to understand because I have the rate at 100 because I'm used to the speed, but you can slow it down. Title is desktop. Okay. Windows N. Okay. And Title is desktop. So if say that I want to go into my documents, I'll go to my start menu. Control escape, start menu, word processing sub. And then I'll go P for programs. P program sub menu, accessory sub menu. Okay. Enter, accessibility sub menu. Enter. And it'll take me to the menus. Entertainment sub accessibility okay. sub menu. Now if I want to exit that, I'll. Alt F4, leaving menus, dialogue. Alt F4. Okay. Windows N, desktop. And go back to my, um, to my desktop. Now if I want to go to internet, I'll do I. I'll make sure I'm on my desktop and I'll do I. I Internet Explorer. I hear Internet Explorer. Enter. Windows Internet Explorer. Windows I'll press Explorer. enter on that. Two percent. So we use the, the, the keyboard all the time. I hear that I'm on Google. I do insert T. Title is Google dash Windows Internet Explorer. And it says Google. Google. List of eight items. Google. List of eight visited link link images. Link video. Okay. So this has this is how we use the internet. I'll just go and type in whatever I want to search for. Link images. Uh, say, for Enter example, link. I also want to go to the Fullerton.edu. I do Control O. Control O, open dialog. Type the internet address okay. of the document. I type in Fullerton. F U L L E R T O N T U E D U. Enter 100%. Press Enter. California State University Fullerton. Images link. I hear California State University, and then I'll just go and do whatever I want to do uh, there. Windows N, desktop. Uh, this is also something that I used to do my reading. Uh, I already have a CD in my computer. So if I want to access my reading for my class, I'll do go on my desktop, Windows N. press N, MSN installer, and to go to my computer, N, new statements clear, N, magic chat, N, my conference report, N, my documents, N, my computer. I hear my computer. Enter my computer. I'll folder press view enter list view, on that. Selected, three, one, Okay. Folder view list view. OS left parent seat, ethics agent dot, 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 I left. hear I arrow down and then I hear oh, ethics agent dot, dot, dot. ethics and aging. So enter. I'll press enter on that. Folder view okay. list view, not selected ethics, agent, and society, one of two. Folder view list view, copyright statement, dot okay. ethics, enter. Folder view list view, not selected zero, one front, one of three. Folder view list view, zero, two text, two. I hear text. I know that's that's where I have my chapters. Enter. Folder view list view, not selected zero, one, bolstie, dot, RTF. Fold zero, one, I hear bolstie, chapter dot, one. Enter. Press enter. Okay. And it'll um, load my... Um, Print view, edit. So then I use a combination of... Um, the com one of the combinations to do my uh, reading is insert two. Page one, section I approaches to ethical thinking. Page two, and I can make it go slower. Left, left parent page and page two. Left parent page intentionally left blank. Left parent page intentionally left blank. Right parent page three. Okay, chapter one. so this is how just just sounds, and this is how I do my reading. Act fundamentally. Okay, I'll do the control to stop it. <laughs> Windows N desktop. And then if I want to open a, a Microsoft uh, document, I'll do Control Alt W. 
okay so it'll open up a document if, if I want to type whatever you know document I want to type um, I also have a laptop which um, I also have my uh, the just program and this is something you know my laptop that I can carry and go you know take it with me to whatever places I want to I want to go to um, so it has the same the same program uh, for the my de my laptop usually for other blind the laptops are the keys are very close to each other so what we use is a or for in my case I use an external keyboard so you can hear the jazz so I use the external keyboard just to access and so I don't mess up with the typing um, another thing that I wanted to show well that is and I think that older adults can benefit from is using the internet which I show you how to get to the internet but the email which is something that can help with um, you know, keeping in touch with family. This is my inbox. I can hear it says my inbox. And I already have some red uh, emails. Okay, these are my emails. I'm airing up. I hear an email from my professor. Okay. So if I want to send an email, I'll do Control N. I hear a new message, so I can um, just send it to, I don't know, one of my contacts. Okay, it says um, the name of the person. I tap. Subject, call edit. It's a subject, I can just say hello, tap, and it takes me to where I can take my, my um, type in my email. Just say hello, and then type whatever I want to type, and then just... Okay. But I'm going to escape. Okay. I'll just escape because I don't want to send the email. Okay, so that is one of the technology. Another technology, another thing that device that can really helps a lot for... You know, the blind is uh, having a talking watch. It's 9 Okay, so this is, you know, talking watch, which uh, I would recommend for anyone that is blind. Um, use it all the time. Um, another thing that we used is uh, the Victor Stream Reader, which is a device that we can, um, we use all the time to do reading because reading in one is one of the biggest challenges and uh, for the the aging population um, which is a uh, very common to have a macular um, macular degeneration glaucoma diabetes and um, a cataracts they usually one of the difficulties that they experience is not being able to read or they get frustrated because they're not able to read um, do they read as they used to so the Victor stream reader is another device that you can use you can download okay okay you can you you can uh, download uh, books from the internet and they record with human voice not like the just program which is a little difficult uh, to understand but uh, with the Victor stream reader you can just you know download the book and carry this is very practical so you can easily carry with you and um, you can just read the book. I have one of my counseling books here. And, okay, how you can hear? Shamans, mystics, monks, elders, and, other religious and, and you can just skip pages or chapters or whatever you want to skip. And um, so that's another device. Um, this is um, a digital recorder that you can use and just record whatever you want to record. A very, um, I use it for class all the time, but a lot of people use it to that to get uh, telephone numbers when for example when they're on the phone and they just um, you know want to write down a telephone number it's very easy to just record uh, the telephone and okay for example hello. hello okay so it's very easy to use um, uh, by uh, a blind person another thing that is very very important for blind people is having a color identifier which we don't want to go out looking like a clown. <laughs> so this is very easy to use, and you just um, you know aim it to whatever clothes you're going to be using. Hopefully you can hear. Okay, it said red, in case you were not able to, to hear that. I'm going to do it again. Okay, so that is something that it's, it would be very easy to use by an, an older person. Uh, another thing that we use, this is a talking calcul um, dictionary. And I use it all the time. I don't know um, if that would be very helpful for for um, 
other people, maybe, yes, maybe not. Okay, so that is something else. Okay, uh, another thing that is um, very uh, helpful is the pen frame, and this is very, very helpful. I know um, a lot of blind or older adults are using it, uh, especially again older adults who have macular degeneration and they're not able to read their medications or just um, things in the house okay so this is how you turn it on on the top uh, um, hopefully it'll turn on okay it's not turning on okay anyways this is something that um, it's very helpful. It comes with um, stickers. Okay, now it's turning on. So it usually comes with these stickers, the little stickers. And what you do is you stick the uh, put the sticker on whatever. This is a can of corn. <laughs> I was told. So what you do is you record the name of whatever you're gonna label. Okay, uh, corn. Okay, so you record that and then you can just go back and read it. Uh, uh, corn. Okay, hopefully. Uh, uh, corn. Okay, so this is very helpful for someone that is um, has low vision. Um, I use it all the time and, and it's very helpful. Um, another thing that you can um, use is a, a, a braille labeler, which is very helpful for me and I know it's for many blind people. And you can just uh, label whatever you want to label and rip the little thing and just stick it on whatever you want to label. I use it all the time. Um, I also have a scanner. I almost forgot to mention. This is my scanner and it has a software uh, which has a spring program, a screen, um, a speech program called Kurzweil, which is also installed into the computer. So if I want to read, say, for example, a newspaper or a magazine, I just put in the piece of paper there, and then I just scan it, and it'll go into the computer, and I can read whatever handout. Uh, another thing that I have, and I recently got, is called, it's also a scanner, which is portable. You can take it with you anywhere. I mean, especially if you have your laptop. And as you can see, it has a... Um, lens over here very practical because you can fold it and you just place the reading magazine newspaper whatever and then you just scan it and it'll take the picture and then it'll read whatever you scan on the computer um, I've been using it a lot because it's very practical very easy to use and uh, you can easily carry this and um, so this is very helpful this is called a peril um, and um, that is just some um, assistive devices that you can use with um, the blind, um, all the adults, and in general, will blind uh, individuals. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to show this technology is because I recently um, read um, some studies about age macular degeneration, and um, I was surprised to hear that a lot of um, the blind older adults who have low vision and went totally blind are not aware of these devices and the family is not aware. Um, I was even more surprised to hear that a lot of these people are using uh, magnifiers and things that are just, they get over the counter and that is increasing their eye condition. So I believe that they need to be aware of this technology um, and the family needs to be aware. Um, and I'm not sure if the optometrists or ophthalmologists, I read that they're not um, informing the, the, these patients about the, these devices. Either they're not aware of these devices or, or they're, not, um, they're not taking the time to share this information with, their, with this population. Um, now, when showing you the, the uh, JAWS program on the computer, you must probably think that this is not easy to use for a, a, a blind older adult. Uh, maybe that would be one of the challenges. Uh, however, more and more, um, we are getting more used to using computers. So as we are growing older using computers, maybe this would be easier to use, uh, you know, these programs in case we lose or some people, you know, lose their vision. Um, 
one question though is if you know computer makers you know it would be important for them to take um, keep in mind that these computers need to be more accessible for this population uh, along with prices the prices for this technology is, is it's pretty expensive and there are state programs or government programs that um, pay for this technology but it's usually for blind younger um, adults not for the elderly population so that is a big problem when talking about this uh, this technology although this helps um, the blind older population uh, the challenge would be how to get this um, equipment and as we know uh, the blind elderly um, population is um, one of the most po most poor populations in the United States and um, so getting this this equipment would not be easier and especially because Medicare or some insurances do not pay for this um, however this technology would um, make the life of this um, these, these people a little bit um, easier and they would be able to remain um, independent and um, be a little you know a little bit less isolated or at least they could keep in um, touch with family members friends um, by email um, and using the, the, the internet um, and they would be able to um, remain um, engaged with life and just continue doing daily life activities and uh, that is for today and I'll, I'll share with you more about um, assistive technology in my next YouTube video.